Hello and welcome to the M3 version 1.5 demonstration video. In this final clip we will cover two new output capabilities added to the M3 software. First we will look at the ability to export a data cloud from a measured feature in either CSV or DXF format. We will begin by creating a simple part program and measuring some features. The new export data cloud functionality is accessed in the report screen. Within the export menu, there are two new items added, export cloud at CSV and export cloud DXF. For this demonstration, we will go ahead and export one of each. As you can see, the exported files have been added to our default exports folder. One file in CSV format, and one in DXF. The export data cloud functionality is also fully supported for program playback. We will go ahead and execute playback of the quick part program we just created. As you can see, the export data steps are exporting the data cloud in each of the formats we had selected. In edit mode, you can see these outputs as program steps. The second new output functionality that was added to the M3 version 1.5 release was the ability to print a data cloud of a measured feature. We will begin by creating an, a second quick part program to demonstrate this. Printing of the data cloud or the feature stamp can be accomplished through the feature detail screen. When viewing detail for a selected feature, the print button in the M3 menu will now have the text cloud. When exporting a cloud, you will be able to export direct to a paper printer or to a file output device that has been set up in the Windows operating system. As you can see, our data cloud is exported to a printed report containing the standard M3 print header graphics and any additional custom text that has been added. As with the export of the data cloud in CSV or DXF format, the print data cloud step is fully programmable.